expecting 75 millimeters of rainfall today and uh, even more tomorrow so it's a very wet weekend which is okay it's good for the soil some water and I'm spending today mostly inside because I'm editing but even you know this summer when it's raining it's not a big problem because most of the work is now inside so not like last year when I was working on the roof always with the tarp putting it back on so. Yeah, a lot of rain these days. My weather station recorded more than a hundred millimeters in two days. So that's a lot. I slept in the cabin because it rained mostly during the night and then it's noisy in the tent. So it's, nice. <coughs> it's supposed to be chicken day today. 
um, there is an animal fair in one of the nearby towns. Uh, it's two times per year. I've been there the other time, just had a look around, and there's just a lot of people coming, farmers selling their cows and goats. And I'm probably going to find some chicken there as well. But I've been asking around and people are saying, well, there's probably not so many people because of the weather. It's so unfortunate. But I'm gonna have a look anyway to see if I can find something. Ready guys? you like it? Let me get you some food.
So this is a pointing machine or a grouting machine. Um, it was lent by me by Alessandro. He follows the channel and his company Umi Block. He they, they, they rent these out, but he sent it to me, and I can keep it as long as I want, which is great because there's a lot of work to be done on filling up all of these gaps and kind of sealing the cabin. Um, there's various ways of doing it, like doing it by hand with a trowel and pushing it in gaps is one way, but it's quite difficult to get it really deep in the wall. Another way is using a grouting back, which is basically a back with which you make cakes. I used that one on the picnic table uh, last summer. And it works well, you can really get it really deep in there, but it's really hard on your uh, your arms if you have to do an entire cabin like this. But it's great to have this, basically the same principle, you know, you fill this up and then it comes out of here. And you can really push it inside, fill up little corners, so I'm curious how it's going to turn out. I'm going to make a start here. Because the kitchen is going to be here, so if I make a mistake, it's not going to be really visible. Because I'm also trying some different mixes, uh, trying to match the color of the original material, which is mud. So it's kind of like a beige brown color. Uh, and I've got some powders to add to the, to the mortar to make it this color.
Okay, that went very fast. I probably have some cement in my face. Uh, the result's quite rough. I think the mix should go a little bit thicker. And um, yeah, I'm gonna come back in a few hours when this is dried up so I can clean it up. It first needs to settle.
I want to explain a little bit of what I'm doing right now, where I'm at, because it seems like endless digging, which it is in a way, but I think this will clarify a bit better of uh, what's happening. So free drawings. This was a situation when I bought the place. It was a cow barn and the space inside was very small. Um, I started digging this out in video number six. You can kind of see what the beginning situation was. And the floor was built out of stones that were placed vertical in order to drain the cow waste. And these were put together with concrete, so there was a lot of digging to take that out. There was a stone manger here that has also gone. And this is now the situation where I'm at now. So I'm digging out a little bit more of soil here. The concrete walls are here to support the structure. And then eventually I want to have a final floor that is two meters in between the beams so you can walk around easily without dugging, which will be built out of gravel, insulation and then reinforced concrete. This concrete slab together with these ones that go around are supporting the entire building, basically kind of keep it pushed outside. Because if you wouldn't do this, you have exposed soil here for half a meter and with rain and weather it will eventually sack and collapse the building so that's why the concrete is there so here at the moment there's still about 30 centimeters of dirt and i believe it's about 40 wheelbarrows to to take out so quite a bit but once i got this out i can build the final floor
Sono arrivato. Thank you. 
Yeah, it looks like the color is about right. It's a little bit more reddish brown. So I'll probably do a bit less dark brown. But I can see here it's also still not fully dry. The wet color is completely different from the dry color. So this looks a bit drier than here. And this is the original. This is the original here. So it's about right. So this is the youngest or the smallest, uh, slowly getting used to their house. Spending most of the time inside, I sometimes have to send them outside to eat, otherwise they don't eat. I think they're a little bit scared. They're five months old, the owner said, the previous owner. And he also said like it might take a few weeks before um, they lay eggs. So The door is open already for an hour, but they're not going outside. I think they need some time. You want to go back? Back to your friends. Come. I go by the car. 